Hey, what's good, y'all? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, and I intend on doing the exact same. Okay, so before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got coming up. Now, today is hump day, which means that it's chasing Atlanta Day, which means that it's time for the chasing panel later on tonight. Tune in as Scotty, Jamar, Terrence, Tramiel, Carl, and Jeremy Speaks all come together to give their opinions on episode 12 of Chasing Atlanta later on tonight. Then on Friday, be sure to tune in to the Bell Collective Live Review as I talk about the reunion part two, as well as Saturday when we come together to talk about the Love and Marriage Hunsville reunion part two as well. And not to mention, me, T, and JoJo will be going live on um, Thursday night on JoJo's platform, where we'll be talking about the downfall of the Real Housewives of Potomac. So make sure you guys tune in to that because JoJo is back in the building. So with that being said, you guys, that's pretty much all that we got for the church announcements. So let's go ahead and get into the mess, honey. Now let's go ahead and get into uh, Funky Dineva and uh, Flame Monroe. Now I dropped the video on um, Tuesday morning where, um, you know, it was speculated when uh, Funky Don't Even went live on Monday night, he went live at the same time as TGIF, and it was um, talks in the streets about him throwing shots at Claudia Jordan Fox, so as well as Flame Monroe, and people were saying that Flame Monroe was the reason why he was upset with Miss Claudia Jordan, and why he was saying that, you know, um, people were playing in his face. Now, let me just say allegedly, because I never knew if that was true or not, but that's what the people on the streets were saying, and that's what the speculation was. Now, Funk and Aniva dropped the video um, early Tuesday afternoon where he talked about a couple of hot topics, but he took out the time to address this beef with uh, Flame Monroe. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to listen in on what he had to say. And then after we listen in on what he had to say about uh, Flame Monroe, we're going to get my commentary and then we're going to be outie outie. So let's get into it, you guys. Nessa girl, now if y'all go on my Instagram page, y'all see that I wrote a post saying, what do y'all want me to talk about right now? I'm getting ready to make a video. So I'm laying in the bed, gathering my content, getting ready to make a video, and my phone rings, and I look down at the phone, and it's Tasha K. And she says, hey, do you have five minutes to talk? And I said, yeah, what's up? And she was like, you know, I got flame on, but table that for a minute. Tasha called me either last night or the night before last, and she was saying, you know, that she has a lot of respect for Flame. She has a lot of respect for me. And would I be open to having a conversation with Flame so we can extinguish this? And I told Tasha initially, I said, absolutely not. I said, conversations are for people who are trying to salvage relationships. I said, I don't have a relationship with Flame Monroe. I never met Flame. I don't know Flame. We're not in the same age bracket. We don't hang out with the same people. So me liking Flame or not liking Flame, Flame liking me or not liking me does not impact my life whatsoever. So no, I, I, I mean, there's nothing for Flame and I to have a conversation about. Towards the end of the conversation, Tasha asked me again, you know, Q... Would you be willing? I'm always willing to broker peace. So I was like, you know what, Tasha, fine. If Flame wants to talk, I'm open to talking. But let the record reflect, I don't have a problem with Flame Monroe. So Tasha just calls me right now. And she's like, hey, do you have five minutes? I'm like, yeah. She was like, you know, I got Flame on the other line. I just, you know, think y'all should have a conversation. So I'm like, all right, cool. And then, you know, you know, Tasha goes, this is off the record. And as me and Tasha are talking, she begins, uh, she slips in there, you know, um, you know, I want to record this and y'all can do it for the culture. I said, absolutely not. I said, absolutely not. And then I hear flame in the background saying, well, you know, in, in a hostile tone, well, I don't want to talk. You know, you, you can't, you can't throw rocks and hide your heads. You do everything else public or whatever the case may be. And then I just said, girl, bye. And I hung up the phone, regret the fact that I even answered it. And I'm addressing it now. Because I know it's going to become a thing. E even the simple fact that Tasha K called me with flame and I refused to talk, it's going to become a headline. So I said, let me go ahead and get ahead of it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm telling this story. Here is why I have no interest in having a recorded conversation with flame. 
I already see this for what it is. If your interest is to broker peace with me and us have some type of understanding, what are we doing it publicly for? I don't know Flame's intentions and I don't know Tasha's intentions, but I have no interest in putting on a show for the people. Because the only thing that's going to happen is me and Flame going to get to arguing while it's being recorded. And then now it's going to create this whole train of YouTube drama. I'm not interested in it. All right. I don't have a problem with Flame Monroe. Flame did an interview on The Breakfast Club that, in my opinion, was pandering to the straight people. It was very anti-LGBTQ, very anti-trans, in my opinion. I did a video on it. From my understanding, with, from my understanding, that video upset Flame, all right? And she has the right to be upset. And from that moment on, that was years ago, from that moment on, Flame has been going around saying the most inflammatory ridiculous things about me down to me being a meth head a crackhead all these different things that are not true but i really don't care i don't know this lady as it relates to fox soul when her name was brought up i made the comment that bitch will not be on this show as long as i'm sitting here and i stand by that in what world do you invite somebody onto your platform that talks shit about you on a consistent basis those are the only two references Flame Monroe or anyone has of me ever making any reference to Flame. So as far as this, I throw rocks and hide my hands. Where are these rocks? I encourage anybody to please go online and find any video footage, any social media footage of me saying anything about Flame Monroe. I don't talk about Flame. I don't know that lady. And furthermore, I don't have a problem with you, Flame. I really don't. People think what I got going on with Fox Soul right now has something to do with Flame. I'm here to let y'all know, and I'm here to let Flame know. Flame, baby, this has nothing to do with you whatsoever. You are just being used as a pawn in a bigger game. I promise you what's going on right now with me and whomever has nothing to do with Flame. Nothing to do with Flame. And since I'm already on the topic, you know, Flame, I'm here to let you know, baby girl, you know, the phone call you made on three-way to Al about, you know, oh, you know, um, the bitch that said he'll never be on the show, I'll be sitting next to you Monday. Kudos to you, baby. Kudos to you. You don't have one up on me, baby. You're sitting in a seat that I vacated. And well, you will not be there as long as I'm there and I'm gone. You can have it, baby girl. I walked away. And quiet as it's kept, you being there really didn't help them much because we saw the numbers last night and we saw my numbers. At this point, they're going to need Michelle Obama sitting in that damn seat to help them. Like I said, I'm saying it once. I'm saying it for the masses. And this is what I would have said to Flame on the phone. If what I did in that Breakfast Club interview offended you to the point, Flame, where you're still upset years later and, and you got to hurl insults and, and all these types of things, then I apologize. I do. Flame, I really do feel like sometimes your commentary about the community panders to the straights and it's dangerous to the community. And if that offended you, Flame, I'm sorry. But let the record reflect I do not have a problem with Flame Monroe. I do not have a problem with Flame Monroe. I do not have a problem with Flame Monroe. Flame Monroe, you, Fox Soul, and TGIF, I wish y'all all the best, baby. You can have a seat. You, you can have it. You could be in it. I'm gone. Do good, mama. Thank you and be blessed. Moving right along, chat. All right, and y'all heard him. That was Funky Dineva pretty much addressing Miss Flame Monroe about the comments and uh, about everything. Because um, come to find out, Tasha K was the one who spearheaded this quote-unquote confrontation between Funky Dineva and Flame Monroe. Um, so let's get into it. What I will say is that I definitely, definitely agree with everything that Funky Dineva pretty much said in this video and in this recording. 
First of all, when it comes down to Tasha K's involvement in this situation, I don't think that she was genuine in trying to get them two together. I really feel like she was going to use this as a moment for her own self. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it seems to me. And listen, I like Tasha K for the most part. You got it. You you know how I do. Just like I like Funky Dineva and I hold him accountable. I like Tasha K and I hold her ass accountable too. And we already know that a lot of things that Tasha K be doing before a moment. We already know that. And I don't think that she was really sincere about getting the two together. Especially when she said, let's record it and do it for the culture. It wasn't for the culture. It was for Unwind with Tasha K. That's what it was for. And... um. Funky Dineva has definitely called out Flame Monroe for the comments that she's made in regards to the LGBT community. Um, Funky Dineva feels like the commentary that um, Flame Monroe has given is very dangerous to the community and that it's not the right um, direction that most, you know, that, that younger people that's in the community should follow. Um, due to the fact, because I wasn't aware that Flame Monroe said all of those things. Um, according to Funky Dineva, uh, Flame Monroe um, suggested that he was a meth head. He was on crack. He was on all kinds of things because Flame was upset about the video that he did on the Breakfast Club interview. Now, one, one thing, uh, one thing for certain, and two things for sure. Funky Dineva gonna give his opinion, just like we all do, just like Flame Monroe does. So, with that being said, I don't understand why Flame was so upset about the situation. You know, you put your views out there and people are going to disagree with your views. And most of the LGBT community gives you a bad. Well, most of the LGBT community don't agree with a lot of the things that you say. Um, and, and that's a given. Um, but just like Funky Dineva said, I ain't got no problem with Flame. Flame got a problem with me pretty much. And yeah, you think that you finna sit on a show that I'm on after you to sit up here and drag me and talk about me consistently. What makes you think that I will want you on the show? And that's point blank period. I definitely agree with that. Um, I would definitely not want anybody on a platform that I'm on and they've been talking shit about me or moving weird. I definitely would not want that. And I'm definitely on um, Funky Dineva's side when it comes down to that. In so many words, Funky Dineva's pretty much saying, I ain't got a problem with you, Flame. I just don't fuck with you. And that's just what it is. And sometimes that's all you really got to say. I ain't got no problem with you. I just don't fuck with you like that. And that's just what it is. Like you talk about me. You said all this stuff about me and you're not taking anything from me by sitting on the TGIF set. You know, I already did that. I'm no longer there. And the word remains true. You would never be on this show long as I'm on this show and I'm not on this show. And now you're on this show now. I resigned my position. So be happy about that. If I didn't resign my position, you would not be there. And that's just the truth. So, yeah. Um, I'm definitely team Funky Dineva on this. I am. I'm not going to lie. I am. Um, we can't force him to be cool with Flame Monroe. Like, you know, you cannot have a problem with somebody and still not fuck with them. And that's just the basis of the situation. And that's just what I see. Um, I, I totally get why Funky Dineva did not want to do this for the so-called culture. Because like I said, it, re it really wasn't for nobody's culture. It was only for the pockets of Unwind with Tasha K. And that's pretty much all that I got on that. So I agree with everything that Funky Dineva said. Um, totally do. I see no problem with what he did or what he said. And that's all I really got on that. So before we get up out of here, we're done. We got to pay bills and then we're up out of here. Make sure you guys support your meal. He has a brand new record out called Long Days. It's available everywhere for purchase and streaming. So make sure you cop that. Also, Bando has a song out called Bando's Dream. It is now available on Spotify, Apple Music, as well as um, YouTube, as well as his other new song, DUI, which is available everywhere. With that being said, you guys, this be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe. Subscribe and share this video and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. And if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below. With that being said, you guys, your boy Scotty is about here. And until my next video, I will holler at you guys a little bit later.